you know, this restrictor plate race at uh, the uh, All-Star Race, it wasn't exactly as bad as I thought it was going to be. Those, uh, a lot of people were on the edge of wrecking each other a lot. <laughs> there was a handful of three wide and four wide racing and a lot of turns, too. Sometimes you can get single file near the end of every stage, but and sometimes it's almost dead impossible that anybody could catch up to the leader, but it, it was still somewhat fun, I'll admit. I was kind of wrong about the restrictor plate package at uh, the All-Star Race. It, I will admit that it is the best uh, All-Star Race of this decade, superior to a lot of races. Maybe not 2014, because that's the second best uh, All-Star Race of this decade, but it's still not, as cr not quite as great as the 2000s. Nothing could beat the 2000s in terms of all-star racing. Let's be real with that one. <laughs> but yeah, it, it was climatic most of the time. A lot of people were driving like they were on Crown Royal or something. <laughs> there was that also large wreck, which isn't too climatic, but uh, it was, a lot of people were driving pretty recklessly, and I'm... Um, <laughs> One thing I can be happy about that is that it got Kyle Busch damaged in the process, but unfortunately it didn't take him out, but whatevs. But hey, congratulations to Kevin Harvick on his second All-Star win. Great win that is, indeed. I was very unsure of what was going to happen with the uh, All-Star race with those restrictor plate with the restrictor plate package, but having seen the race, I was, for the most part, wrong. It wasn't the worst race ever at all, but it also wasn't super amazing either. It did have a lot of three wide and four wide moves, especially Jimmy Johnson towards the end, and uh, <laughs> a lot of people did take bold moves, but uh, that mainly only seemed to happen after the uh, restarts. So, um, normally when uh, it's like at least 10 or 15 laps after the restart, the leaders start to get almost no, little to no competition, especially the last stage where uh, Kevin Harvick pretty much had no competition. But hey, the race was pretty great, I'll admit. Maybe on restarts it was great, but at the end of stages, not quite so much. But I would still say it's the best all-star race of this decade, so I'd give it a good 7.9 out of 10 or 8.5 out of 10. So this is just a quick little video I'd like that I uh, wanted to uh, reiterate from what I did weeks ago. So hope you guys enjoyed this uh, horrible horribly uh, shot video, so keep it metal. And space out. Hope you like my new poster right here that I, uh, that I sleep under every night now. <laughs>